All right, I wanted to continue to do more of a series here on just kind of build orders and kind of general how-tos for each commander. Um, I will show you the mastery points that I normally set up for Zagara. Um, I always do attack damage for Zagara. Same reason I would do it for Kerrigan. Um, it makes her actually able to um, deal with air units. Um, if you don't have a decent amount of Scourge ready or stuff like that, um, this attack damage will help a lot. Manic attack damage is always going to be better than evasion. Evasion doesn't even stop spells, so there's really no point in using evasion. Um, and the Banelink attack damage, I mean, Banelinks are pretty much your bread and butter. Um, I usually, there's always these ones like for Alarax, Sustain Frenzy, or sorry, Alarax, uh, Empower Me Duration. And I just don't ever see that it makes as much sense because you end up killing everything during the first 30 seconds of a Frenzy anyway, so what's the point of making it longer, and then just roach damage in life is always going to be helpful. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm on a random mission, and I'll kind of go over my general build for Zagara. Yeah, Karina's got another good point too. Just doesn't make as much sense. Now don't get me wrong, I have been able to use uh, Zagara's abilities fast enough to be able to make it so you could you utilize that extra energy but it just doesn't make as much sense as having the extra attack damage the extra attack damage is so much more important especially when you have the um, aoe spell for her too um, so my general build with Zagara is going to be 14 supply worth of drones uh, make two gases, go back to 14 supply, make a, sp a spawning pool, um, make an overlord. Um, as soon as the spawning pool finishes, you should have enough gas if you saturate um, your gases right away to make a, uh, a baling nest. And then once you're done with the baling nest, make another overlord and go back up to 14 supply. And then at that point, you can make a couple um, Zerglings to come over here and, and a queen. <clears throat> Long term exposure to Terrazine provides plenty of both. So, those are all really important things to get to. Uh, the Banelings are just going to be pretty much utilized to make sure that you can deal with the first attack wave. And then from then on, it's pretty much just finish up your tech structures, two evolution chambers, a spawning pool, of course, um, a Banelings nest, and a Scourge nest. Those are the only things you really need. You don't really need anything else. And I never really upgrade apparitions. I never really get apparitions. Uh, I just feel like they should have more armor, and they'd be a lot more useful. So, anyways, I'm at 14 supply. I'm gonna make my two spawning. Oh, sorry, evolution uh, extractors. Make sure I get back up to 14 supply. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my spawning pool. Not enough heroes. Make sure that you saturate those gases as soon as possible. Because you really need to saturate them both to be able to make your uh, banning nest as soon as that pops. <clears throat> make sure you get your overlord. Um, you don't really need it just yet. See, I have just 50 some gas as soon as that's done. That's good enough to get me that. <clears throat> if you want to try to get a queen out, I usually get that as soon as my uh, overlord pops. As soon as that's done, I get two sets of Zerglings to start taking out my box. Um, you can get a third set, but you don't really need to right away. And then as soon as this is done, I'll make sure to get Banelink Speed, and that just makes it so this first set of Zergling, or sorry, of um, first and second set of uh, Banelings can do a lot of damage. And that's just basically how you start the mission. Uh, I'm going to have another Overlord, a couple Overlords that are going to pop, that are going to get me up to like 30 and then 38. Um, and then I got again these guys doing their job over here. Normally, when I at least before when we didn't have to worry about um, uh, you had larva extra larva in, being created. I didn't need to make these queens. I just made a couple extra uh, hatcheries and that was it. But because now we have to deal with that, you actually have to get these. Um, as soon as the oh, oh, queen finishes, I hate when they do that. Yeah, as soon as the um, queen finishes, make sure you get your layer and then go pretty much right into all your different tech structures. Tech and um, great structures. See, these guys are pretty much already going to take out the rocks. 
I already have a bunch of Zerglings. Sorry, not Zerglings, Banelings. Once you have full saturation here, it's okay to just set your Growly point over there. And then I get my Scourge Nest, and then I have all my tech structures, and then I'm going to start working on my hive. I haven't really had to make anything so far. All I've needed to do is just make Banelings. Banelings are the only thing, and I didn't even need to make my Banelings, you know. First thing I prioritize is always going to be Zagara upgrades. But honestly, you really don't have to make too much right off the bat. There's really nothing that's going to mess with you too much right now. I already have all my tech structures, so just kind of make sure that you're always getting some form of upgrade at all times. And you should be pretty much set. <clears throat> I always try to prioritize Bane upgrades after Sakara upgrades. And then once I'm done with that, um, or once I've made sure that I've got everything going on and my first match is up, try to always make sure you get the Simplified Genome, especially when you're going up against um, Terran or Sky Terran. Um, you could always make sure to spread creep. Uh, you know, it's actually a really, not, not important, but it's a really helpful thing. But not as necessary as you would think. Like for a, a Kerrigan, a Kerrigan should always be spreading creep. More geysers are going to be active soon. Don't ask how I know that. I just do. If you ever overproduce uh, drones, make sure that you spend some of the extra... <clears throat> Extra supply of uh, drones on um, static effects. Yes. You always can with Sakara. You're always going to be getting extra. Sequences spun. Always going to have extra minerals with Sakara. Yeah. At least in the beginning. Sufficient Just because there's so much tech to get, or so many upgrades to get, that actually come pretty fast. So you are going to have a limiting reach of which is going to be gas. There's always going to be that issue of gas. Because you could always make more payments. You could always make so many more things. They're coming after my bots. Who stopped them, commanders? That's why I made sure to get the simplified genome. That's really important here. Because if you need to make Scourge, you need to be able to have the ability to... Uh... Mutation complete. Yeah, because Banelings become a little less useful, Zerglings become a little less useful when you're going up this kind, going up against this kind of uh, army composition. My bots are taking damage! Terrible, terrible damage! And like I said, just prioritize the attacks that you need. Come on home, little bots. The commanders will protect you. Directly out of the majestic Belshir gliders. You might want to stop them if you can. And so I use camera hockeys to do um, all of the so I'm not saying you have to, but if ejects you to, that I have. That Belshir glider I mentioned, you don't have all day. I will go death to attack our base. They will regret this. I miss the swarm. Great job, commanders. My bots are safe and sound. Do you do this sort of thing often? Complete. In allied forces in combat. We've got the start of a good Alright, so I need to make sure that um, I'm going to have some detection. And then once we go there, we should be good. As long as you have something attacking over here, you should be fine. And I'm going to wait for the detection on this mission before I go ahead and move out. Looks like there will be more geysers soon. <sighs> you can always count on Belshir to provide what you need. Supply. You can see now we're at maximum supply. So we're just going to have extra minerals. 
um, for a little while, so you can always dump a bunch of things, like, static defense in, but I like to wait on that. Sometimes I always will drop the, um, the roaches behind enemy lines, so that I can go ahead and uh, draw all the attention from the AoE away from my army. And just make sure you cycle through and just make sure you're getting all your upgrades. Because if you're getting all your upgrades, you should be fine. They grow up so fast. Daddy loves you! Back from it, more scourge, get some more injects. With any Zerg commander, you can always add any um, unit to the control group at any point. Always make sure that you're balancing. Okay. The, bot should be on their way the amount of scourge versus the amount of uh, uh, zerglings you make. Insufficient Vespine gas. I mean, that's based on any every mission. That's the thing you can't necessarily just know um, before you start the mission. You have to actually base on what you see during the mission. My bots are back. That means it's tea time. The tea is for Terrence. And that's the beautiful thing about Zagara. She can just make so much, but it requires now at least, if, especially if you want to stay on two bases, pretty darn good in Jax. What's nice is my partner is doing a really good job of spreading great, but uh, once you get your attack upgrades from the from evolution town, chambers, all of your Zergling upgrades, town, all your Baneling upgrades, and then the two extra um, Scourge upgrades, and then just start working on Flyer attack, there's really no point in getting it. If your Scourge aren't killing things fast enough and they actually need to... Uh, if you actually need the, the uh, extra armor, then you're really not playing her super well. You know, I never noticed those things floating around here before. <laughs> I wonder where they came from. Not possible. I'm gonna wait till I get this, and I'm gonna drop behind. And then I'll just make sure of this. Infested drop is now available. Ah, no. No, no, we're going in. She's actually not that hard to control. I mean, she is definitely like an A-move army.
So right now, I want to make sure that I don't lose everything. So I'm instead of rallying everything with my army, which is something I normally do. Look out, commanders! I am detecting enemy movement toward the box. I'm rallying away from that, just so I don't lose a bunch of uh, things. So I can bring everybody together for a minute. I mean, Zagara can be hard to control, but the one cool thing is, like, everything builds so fast that you actually have quite a bit of opportunity to keep remaxing it off. Go ahead and turn a bunch of these into families. It's just made to constantly max and then remax and max and then remax, max and then remax. <clears throat> See, like, I really need to get rid of some of these Bane Links. I have too many, honestly. I'm going up against Sky Terror, but I don't really have anything to kill. <laughs> Infested drop available. Forces in combat. Swarm at maximum supply. I have nothing to kill. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna blow up those ones. Swarm at maximum supply. <laughs> A plus slip. Good news, commanders. My bots have brought me Terrazine. Well, it's good news for me. Yeah, I needed so much more um, scourge. So I could just get rid of those bait links. What are your commands? The fittest shall survive. Part of me just wants to kill all of my banelings and just make a bunch of scourge, but I'll wait a little while. What I want to be able to do is select all the little guys. There's no real way to do that, because they're all just considered bailings, which I think is kind of ridiculous. I missed you so much. I've got almost all the Terrazine I need. Keep it up, commanders! We are ready to kill. Um, one of the things about Zagara is her late game can suffer. That's one of the things that you're going to have to realize when you play a lot of Zagara, is um, late game becomes kind of an issue. If you don't have the larva to uh, build the things you need to build. All alone in the depths of space. This world shall fall. The fittest shall survive. Alright, now we just wait. <laughs> That's why I always try to make sure that I get a lot of ejects towards the end. Uh, because you really need a lot of um, larva, especially if you're kind of soloing. I mean, quite obviously my partner is actually doing a good job helping, so that's really nice. Uh, but, but that's not always the case. I see you, enemy scum! They're going to attack my bots, commanders. This 
Well, some macro. Good morning, commanders. The enemy's eating my box for breakfast. Combat. Allied forces in combat. No, not I still have way too many things. Reached. Swarm at maximum supply. Ooh, he's making brood lords. That's exciting. Our vengeance will be complete. The fittest shall survive. Allies base under assault. Agreed. What kind of assault? Allies base under assault. No, not possible. Supply limit reached. What are your I commands? My bots are heading back to base. Be careful. Commanders, it's a jungle out there. Question. We are at maximum supply. Our vengeance will be complete. All right. Allies oh, oh. base under assault. We are ready to kill. I don't want to get my armor Brace too strung out. Enemy forces are inbound. No swarm forces under attack. Allies base Allied under forces. Small combat maximum supply. You see how like I basically ran out of larva? I almost Allies basically ran out of larva there. Assault. Invested drug is now available. No, not possible. Supply limit reached. That's what happens with Sagara. Unless you're like tip top on all of your injects. The fittest shall survive. I listen. You will run out of Larga. No, no, you could definitely make more hatch. Uh, so that's the other thing, honestly. Um, as you can see, I'm floating ten thousand minerals. Your efforts are futile. Uh, you could easily make more hatcheries, uh, but you can get away with just two hatcheries. You don't need more, as long as you're injecting like crazy. Yes! Um, now, keeping in mind, like a normal hatchery will only go up to what, like six larvae, I think, in co-op. So it's not like you're going to be able to build up a whole bunch of extra larvae. Just by making more hatcheries, you still should inject on some of them, because with injects, they will be able to go over the max of six uh, at any given time. Um, so making more hatcheries will get you more. Like I said, I could have made, I don't even know how many of them, like 20 at least, have extra hatcheries. Do I need to? No, you can just go ahead and do that. Uh, no, that also included the fact that my partner was doing a really good job at actually doing things, so I didn't have to worry too much about what they were doing, stuff like that. Um, but Zagara is super fun. Um, the build is always going to be, at least for me, I never really changes. It just ultimately changes after I get all of my tech, how many Scourge or Baneling I make. But 14 supply for um, two, of, two extractors, 14 supply spawning pool, uh, 14 supply um, overlord, uh, 14 supply uh, baneling nest, and then make sure that once your um, overlord pops, you get a queen, and then just kind of go from there. As soon as the queen does, make sure you get your lair, uh, make sure you get two extractors after, not two extractors, two evolution chambers, um, and then from there, make your scourge nest, and then get your hatchery as soon as possible. Uh, make sure that you, after you. Um, Got your full saturation over on your main. Make sure you build two to three sets of zerglings to take out your uh, rocks. And then pretty much from there, just make sure you're constantly getting upgrades. Um, you're going to be a little bit light on gas when you're getting all of your upgrades. But once you get your upgrades, you can make as many banelings as you want. The thing is with Cigar, you always, always, always want to just use her free banelings. They're amazing. And they'll basically get through you through at least the first three or four waves. If not two, depending on the mission. Anyways, I'm Andre Fi. I do hope that helped, and thanks so much for watching.